Hello YouTube family, welcome once again, Luis El Milusos coming to you with that second video about wiring um, your tail lights to the trailer. I did that other video with my little red trailer, I was adding that other side marker, but that trailer had four uh, wires because the rear light has your blinker and your stoplight uh, combined into one light. This is independent, it's separate. So I used a Torx uh, little bit. And then I have a quarter inch um, socket and then just a small little ratchet because uh, I, I didn't go to get my little screwdriver. These do come in screwdrivers as well. So you may have a screwdriver. This size is the T25. So I'm using a T25 bit. And what I did is I went ahead and just took this off for from the, uh, the tail light. And for ease of the video, I've already done all this stuff, you know, so we can kind of move along really quick. So when you get to it, you just take it off. This car has an interesting design because all you do is you just put your finger here, you lift this, and then you just pull this out and it comes out. Um, again, for ease of the video, I've already identified all these wires. You, got just, you just have to be careful when you're doing this. You're gonna do it one at a time. So if I was barely doing this right now, I would have somebody go into the ignition and go ahead and open up the key and push your brake light and push you turn your blinker on and all of that I've already identified that I have my my tester okay so it has a little bulb inside you need ground so I went ahead and put it on my actual um, my tow hitch is already installed so I went ahead and put this on my tow hitch it's got really good ground and I always like to scratch just so it can get good ground and then what I do is I come and touch this so just for purposes keep this focus here in the light so just for example and turn on my lights and put my ignition on. All right, so now I've got everything kind of working together right there. So my lights are on and I'm gonna go ahead and touch touch here and you'll see one thing does one thing, the other one, uh, you know, so I'll show you what each one does. So because this light has your yellow, right? Your yellow is gonna be your blinker. Right, so we know this top section goes to your blinker. You have ground and you have your power. Usually black is your ground, but I always double and triple check it because I don't want to be plugging things in without you know being 100% sure. So if I go in here, there's my blinker, all right? And if I go in here, there's nothing. And if I go here, there's my running light. So this is my running light, this is my blinker, and then this is my stop light because I've already tested this one is black, which is ground. If I undo this one, you're gonna see, and you always wanna make sure you don't touch anything, so I just hold it. If I put this here, and I touch this here with ground, and I come around and touch this here, it'll come on. See, that's positive, that's my ground. So this is confirmed as ground. So just for, you know, for sakes right now, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to leave this on just so it doesn't touch one of the other wires, okay? All right, so let's get started. So what I did is this, these come from factory and they come you know, like this, right? They're complete. I went ahead and cut it. So I'm gonna undo my stop right here. This is my brake light, okay? So I'll undo my brake light and pretend that this is, you know, without cutting, this was one solid wire, one single one. I went ahead and used, again, my little cutter, okay? You could have a crimper, you could have anything, a blade, whatever you want. So I went ahead and cut it and then peeled it on both sides. Now that's peeled. This one's also gonna be peeled. So we'll get started with showing you what we're doing as far as the actual harness. So I went out and I purchased a vehicle converter, about $24, it was $23.67 actually, at Walmart. I was looking for it all over the place, didn't even think of Walmart having it. Went on the website, put in this particular converter number, and it gave me a link to Walmart. Amazon sells it, you know, so you could have different places, I'm sure Pet Boys, AutoZone, many places may carry this. I just happen to have a Walmart conveniently located, so I went over. It's from Hopkins, it's a vehicle converter, and it's a four flat and it's the number 48895, 48895. And this is actually pretty nice because it comes with a little converter box. So it's gonna take my five wires and it's gonna convert it into four wires for the trailer. So independent lights and combined lights, okay, for my tail lights. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead because this is the, the end that's gonna hook up to my trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, feed this in. Make sure we get that into the hole. It's gonna fall out under the car. 
So I'll just feed that in like this, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it this way. There's a little hole here that I could possibly use. I'll, I'll put that there snug so it's not in the way of my light when I come back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and have per multi-purpose ties, Home Depot, Harbor Freight, 99 cents, stores, Dollar Tree. I mean, anywhere that they, you know, you can find these little things, go ahead and grab them. I, I always like to have two or three little bags of these laying around just because I'm just like that. I'm crazy. So you gotta need that. You don't have to use these uh, little nuts, wire nuts. I just happen to have a few laying around. Uh, you are gonna need, of course, your electrical tape. And then when you climb underneath, you're gonna be looking upwards. So I would always say just a little, you know, eye protection. So if anything falls, it doesn't fall in your eyes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this. And all right, zip tie. I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this here. And I'm gonna do this. You could zip tie it at the end. I'm just gonna do this now because, you know, I've already peeled all my cables. I don't need to move anything anywhere. For those of you who have different vehicles who you're not sure, you wanna do this at the end, okay? And pick a spot that's not gonna get in the way of your actual tail light. So I'll just go ahead and put it like that, okay? Just because it's out of the way, it won't, it'll keep it from falling, and that's it, it's done. So now, we're gonna go ahead and go with our, okay, again, wiring. If you, in this kit, you're gonna notice that one cable is really long, which is a green one. Uh, and then all the other ones are really short, except for your ground. But all the other ones are really tiny or short, because this is gonna be in this particular light. And then this green one, I'm gonna feed it down alongside the other ones, because I'm gonna transport this all the way to the other side. And I'm gonna go just down on the bottom by the, um, just over the tow hitch and just hide it and feed it over. So that's how I'm gonna do that. It's gonna come across down here. So if you notice now, I have my green wire and I have my um, my actual trailer connector. They're down below the car on this side, so I'll move those out of the way. And then this one, I can go ahead and create, even right here, I can scratch and then get a good ground and then take this one and you know get a screw and mount it on the frame. You can feed it underneath. I think this one, I may be able to find something really solid on the bottom, so I'm gonna feed it thinking about this, I'm gonna feed it all the way through and then find something way at the bottom to be able to, to connect it to. So those are gonna go down there because I have some good ground bolts on the bottom. Perfect, that way I don't use my drill. Okay, so now, again, how do, how do I know yellow and green? Because yellow, in, in terms of left and right, yellow has the L, which is left, Green has the R, which is right. That's an easy way to remember. You'll never forget it. Kind of like righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's the way you do it. So now, I know that this is my stoplight. I know that this is my tail light, and I know that this is my um, my regular running light because we just tap them and identify them. So, and I would do one by one if you're scared of doing all of this. Just do one by one. Find the one that. Okay, step on the brake and then find it. How did I find it? I had my. I have this connected to the to the ground, so let's say that's my ground, and then I went in here. Okay, well then I poked it in here, and then it it light up, it lit up, and then oh, this one was blinking, and then of course this one was when I did it the other way around with the ground, and I touched it as I showed you. This one lit up for for that. Okay, so pretty easy to identify. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a comment, and I'll I'll make sure I get that done. Anyway, let's get started. So we're gonna do right. The red one is gonna be for your stop lights when you hit your brakes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and come in here, peel that. Just a tight squeeze, not too much because you'll cut it off. Okay, this one's a little bit. This one's harder, but it'll come off. There it is. Alright. So then I'm gonna do I'm gonna create this these two. And I'm just gonna go around. Okay. For these two this and just for right now since this is on my way and it's close I'll just block that off but this one I'm dealing with this one right now so once I get that in there I take this red one I bring it over and then I'm gonna wrap this here okay because I have these little nuts I'm gonna go ahead and put them in as an extra protection you want to make sure they they tighten up well 
And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of create a fold like this. Okay. Take my tape. Get a piece like this off. All right. Raise this like this. And if you don't want to be dealing with the light, here's a little trick, okay? But you don't want to bang these around either, so be careful because then you'll break the light bulb, okay? So, I'll kind of move, remove these like this. And just keep that camera focused there. I'm going to turn these off. I think these off. This off. Perfect, so that would work. That way I'm not running my lights when it's doing that so now it gives me a little bit less of a resistance and then I'll put these here like this and I'll start making making a wrap like this okay and I always kind of bend the little the end like that so it's easy to um, to remove let me get another piece of my, my uh, cable. Alright, we'll do the same with the one. We'll take, now if this, this kit came with a little terminal grease and that's like if you wanted to connect something in, the, in there. I'm making a solid connection and I'm taking it so I don't, there's no, no, um, Humidity or anything like that going in, so I'll be okay. All right, I'm gonna take this here. Go ahead and cut these as well. Let's strip these. Okay. Again, left, right. So we know that this is your yellow. So this was your left turn. So we're gonna go ahead and undo this one. And these are like this because again, I had already um, identified them and made sure I knew uh, where I was going before I recorded the video. Again, so nice solid connection. I'll bring this one here underneath like this. And probably, I'll just grab it like this from the top. Wrap it and, all right, finalize that one. That's gonna be for my left turn. There it is. I have my little nut washer here, my little wire wash, uh, nut, wire nut. Right, there it is. This one's already kind of like giving me this, this bend here. So I will continue that. And I always, I don't wanna rely on this because sometimes if it's thick like that, it may peak on the bottom. The little um, wire nut might come loose. So I don't want to risk it just by leaving. Oh, it's already done and I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. No, I always want to go ahead and give it that extra coverage with the tape. So I know for a fact with vibration, anything like that, I'm not worried about this coming off. All right, so. And then again, just make sure like right now, you're tapping the metal, it doesn't damage the light bulb, it doesn't break it. Okay. So the end tip is bent. Okay, that's two. And we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna grab this one here, which is gonna be a running light. And because I had put a, a nut washer, a little wire nut on it wire nut. I keep saying nut washer for some reason. A wire nut. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this connector here like that. Okay. Alright, so fresh connection. There it is. And I'm going to take this brown one. gonna be my running lights brown is always your running light yellow is your again yellow L with the left green or has the right ok 
Okay, and that's it. I'm pretty much done with this connector. As you can see, I'm doing it in real time, so whatever the length of this video is, is what it's gonna take you for the most part to do that. So now I need my little wire nut in here. bend this in case I really have to take it off I leave a little bend in the end and then I just finish it like that so these are already done they're pretty much set the ground I'm not gonna worry about because the ground is gonna go on the bottom so I'm not gonna tap it with this one um, I'm gonna go ahead and and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just put the lights back on okay and then this one is short little this one is wider the light also has a small section and a wide section, so you're going to be looking for the small and the wide. So this one goes like this, and then it turns. As it snaps in, it turns. This one also has the three sections. It has two small little uh, tabs and then a big tab. Look for the big tab, big tab's in the bottom, and then line up the two small tabs and then turn it. There it is, it clicked, and then it's all done. That's it. That's all it takes to get this thing done. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back. So the way that you do it is you put the bottom in, line up the bottom, and then take the top, make sure you don't have any wires in the way, and then snap that back in. And then you're gonna take your bolt. You're gonna go ahead and just tighten this up. You get the idea. Get it tight, and that's it. And that's also how you replace your, uh, your light bulbs too. If you needed to, to uh, replace your light bulbs, or if this would crack and you needed a new tail light, that's how you do it. You just remove this one bolt back here and you lift it and pull it out. That's it. And I'm gonna go and tighten that up. Oh, remember, don't over tighten because then you'll crack the plastic. So always listen to that bolt as it's getting tight. See, it's getting tight now, right there. All right, good deal. So, okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and worry about this bottom one. So again, find a good ground for this at the bottom, any portion of metal that you have. If you need to, if it's too long and you need to cut it, you, I mean, do whatever you need to do, but it has this, run it to a nice ground and fix it. And if not, wrap it inside of this and then drill to the metal, okay? Just make sure you scratch it. That's that part. This part is gonna go all the way across. So what I'm gonna do is real simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide it underneath. And there, the muffler's in the way, so you gotta tuck it real nice underneath. So follow that over this muffler section, bring it around, and then go underneath. I'm gonna use my creeper. You can use a cardboard. You can use a, a towel, whatever you guys want. Or even on bare floor, some people do that. But um, you can go ahead and just run this in, hide it, and this is gonna come around. If this is kinda short to make its way up, I'll just take another piece of green or any other color, but I, I'd go with green, because I have green. And then just splice it, make a good connection, connection, and then extend it, however long I need it, and then bring it up and do it the other one. So the, uh, what I'm gonna do here in this light is the same thing. I've already removed it. Here's me. I know I don't need to worry about this side now. I only have to worry about my blinker for the right turn. Here's my black for ground, and that's my wire for my blinker. Before I cut and splice, I'm going to run my right light. I'm going to take my tester, poke it in there, make sure this color is in fact the one that's going to blink. I don't want to get those two reversed, but common sense always black is going to be the ground. I just want to make absolutely certain that that's what it is. When I splice that one, that's it. I'm gonna take this back again, make sure my wires are tucked in, put my light at the bottom, and then this one just goes, and that's it. Put my bolt back in, and you're all set. Now, with regards to that, let's test for now my left and stop and all that. I'm gonna test that with the trailer, and then I'll worry about that one after the video. I'll wire up the right side. So, let's go ahead and connect that in. There it is, and then we're gonna walk over to the back of the trailer and just look at those lights behind the trailer okay you should have running lights now in the back of the trailer i should have my uh, left turn light blinking no All right, so as you can see, I've already grounded it. Remember, you gotta get that white ground uh, on, otherwise it's not gonna work. So now my, my uh, running lights are on, on both sides. 
and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and have my driver go with the left turn left blinker and there it is it's blinking there's my left blinker remember right blinker is not gonna run right now because I need to splice that green one that I haven't done but I don't want to go through more uh, to lengthen out the video okay turn off the blinker and now let's go ahead and hit our brakes okay brake lights again again and there they are both turning on for my brake lights so all we were good to go except for the right blinker because that green wire has to be um, bridged over to the to the other side so once again that's how you wire your um, your lights for use with a trailer on a vehicle and uh, if you have any questions any suggestions hit like subscribe and once again thank you for watching Luis Elmilusos God bless and we'll see you in the next video